it's Pete 4725 with another application recommendation for your iPods, your iPhones, and your iPads. This application needs firmware iOS 4.0 or later to run on your iDevices. I am currently using firmware iOS 8 for my iPad, and let's get into it. Now, this application is for all you bowling lover lovers out there. I know I am. I bowl every Saturday for Minneapolis Blind Bowlers Association in the state of Minnesota. So let's get into the application, and it's called Action Bowling. All right. So you have single player, pass and play, bowling trivia settings, help and more games. You can obviously help is to help you understand the game. There's some info in there. You have your settings, which is your sound, your audio, your, um, your sound effects, all sorts of things. You have your bowling trivia, which you can do trivia for points. You can do pass and play, which means you can bowl and another person can bowl if you pass your iPad back and forth. And you have your single player. You have numerous different options here. You have different bowling alleys to choose from. Um, you have uh, practice mode and start game. You have statistics. So after you've bowled some, you can get some statistics. And you have your bowling ball can actually be customized. Let's see here. I think it's in settings. Do, 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 do. Customize ball. And you can um, choose... A, a different ball from one of the packs. Um, you can, for some reason, they took the function out where you can actually use your photo album as your bowling ball. I don't know why they took that out. I thought that was really fantastic that it had that option, but, um, you know, that's, that's what they did. Um, there's all sorts of stuff. Bowling style, um, spin, speed, music, sound effects use iTunes library for music or not. Um, so I'll show you here. I'll just use the basic lane with my bowling ball. Uh, it gives you a little bit of information. Um, and then so what you do is you move your ball around and you bowl by flicking it. Come on. And then cool I got a strike and it shows you a strike and everything. And what you can do is you can move your ball and then move the the uh, come on come on there we go you can move your uh, cursor so if you want a little bit of spin you can go like that uh, of course I failed I got a gutter but you got the general idea let's see I'll try over here just to see if I can um, make up for that fail Nope, I can't make up but f make up for it, but you get the point. I don't generally use that anyways, the curve on the ball. I usually just do it straightforward. That's pretty much it. Um, you have your, you know, your frames up here. You have what's left over here. Um, otherwise, yeah, this is a great application with great graphics, and it's fun to play. And um, let's see, to get your menu, you touch the top right of the screen. You can resume, settings, help, me menu. I pre uh, if you press the arrow, you go back to the game. But I'm going to hit my menu because I am done showing you this game. I hope you like the game. If you, if you, I showed you a really cool application that you like, like, favorite, share this video. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to my YouTube channel because there's more cool stuff coming out, and I don't want you to miss it. If you have any questions or comments, please comment in the YouTube section below. Otherwise, send me a message through one of my social media networks. Um. Let's see, if you have a chance to take a look at my artist statement below, please, I encourage it, and please support me in my uh, art-related videos. Um, and uh, I believe that's it. So I say have a great day and enjoy bowling with this new application. Um, I do believe that it is currently $0.99 cents on the App Store. So, yep. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Bye.